informational update on the current status for Halo 3 hit registration update, some challenges being fixed around, as well as a flight update for ODST and when can we expect that to come for the Halo Insider program. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Helps more people get a chance to see this video so they get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. And mentioned at the top of this video guys, we have three main things we're going to be talking about in this video. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the Halo 3 hit registration. As we do know, it doesn't exactly mirror what was the legacy 360 days as in the 360 version was a little bit more forgiving than the mcc version is currently and they basically said in a previous update saying the reason why that is is because of the updated resolution the higher frame rate and the higher tick rate when it comes to halo 3 where basically the previous game's going eh, you probably hit them there having to do a lot of guesswork where the up game updates so fast now and it's such a crisper experience that it doesn't exactly have the same feeling when you're playing MCC Halo 3 compared to the original legacy version of Halo 3 on the 360. Now in this dev update 343 does state that they are making some good progress on some investigations that they've been doing for the hit registration in Halo 3. There's many ways to go about fixing this and they say they will have some more information later on so make sure you subscribe to the channel guys I'll definitely make a video once we have some concrete information given to us on that one. And with the release of Halo 3 on PC it came with a full-blown challenge system and I've been certainly enjoying it a lot i've been you know it gives me a whole new reason to play certain content with the game in fact i was playing like ce uh flood missions just to get my flood kills out of the way and it was fun to play through that stuff again it was great to have that happen uh though i have been reading a lot of comments in my videos and also just online in general saying that some challenges are just not tracking for a lot of people. 343 does recognize this and they do state that they've had fixed a few of these issues and made some server side changes to make sure that these challenges track as they should. In this dev update they cite two specific challenges that they did some work on. One is that they resolved an issue where progress was started against a playlist completion without completing one for the void Poloi, I think is how you pronounce it, one through three challenge. And the second one here is a resolved an issue where players did not receive progress on some PVP and seasonal challenges while playing Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer gameplay. Now me personally, I have not experienced any of these issues when it comes to the challenge system. For me, it's been a very smooth experience, a very rewarding experience on top of that as well. Uh, if you grind it out really hard, I mean like really hard, like my buddy Jim, he's already up to like level 75 already in the season pass within less than a week uh, so you can definitely grind out your challenges and get through that season pass pretty quick guys and I think for the most part a lot of people have been having a good experience with the challenge system I think it's one of the greatest additions within Halo 3 they could have done and I'm very excited to see what they can do later on if you want to know how to rank up fast in Halo 3 and just the MCC in general with season 2 make sure to check out my previous video detailing all the XP gains seasonal passes and different XP gains to see how you can optimize your game time especially since we have a triple XP weekend coming for July the 24th for that weekend and so you definitely want to play specific kind of games and uh, challenges to optimize your XP gains during that triple XP weekend. And the last topic we'll talk about in this video is Halo 3 ODST and the current progress on that when it comes to the flighting process that we will certainly get to have when it comes to us Halo Insiders, which if you haven't signed up, definitely go do that right now so you get a chance to play some ODST for free on your PC, it's gonna be awesome guys. So in this dev update, they do mention how they're about to get into ring one. So they're almost very close to get into the alpha stage for Halo 3 ODST. And to quote what 343 said on the blog post saying, in the very near future, we'll be kicking out the very first build of Halo 3 ODST to our ring one folks as we are close to alpha. Now this doesn't mean we are immediately going to be headed to public flight, though it does mean our internal test teams and Ring 1 folks are going to get their hands on it and help us get a better idea of what we need to tackle ahead of our next flight. Stay tuned 
in the coming weeks for more information and we will let y'all know when you should be able to drop feet first into hell. So to give a time frame of an example of what we can expect for the schedule for Halo 3 ODST from flighting to release to when we actually get a chance to play it, all that good stuff. Uh, for example, with Halo 2, the first announcement that Ring 1 and 2 flighting was about to start was on March 27th. And then later on, on April 17th, we finally had Ring 3 for the flight process to begin. And then on May 12th, we had the release of the game. So about a month and a half when it comes to the entire process, which seems to be about right when it comes to uh, CE, Halo 2, and Halo 3. It's been about a month and a half process of when we first get news that this is happening to we actually get a flight until the actual release of the game. Now, I don't want to give any hopes up when it comes to, or false information when it comes to when we can expect a release or a flight of this game, as it is very, each game has their own difficulties to take into consideration, though I would expect a ODST release sometime late August, possibly, maybe even early September. Now, keep in mind that this uh, ODST will come with Firefight, and I have a very sneaky suspicion that it will be coming with uh, matchmaking as well. Stated in the June update about uh, talking about ODST Firefight coming in saying that the team has recently hit important milestones in updating the networking model for its release on the MCC, which to me screams that there's going to be multiplayer matchmaking for a firefight, I would think they would have to bring it in. It's one of the biggest things that was missing from ODST. Now, of course, it could just be referencing the co-op campaign. Certainly could be just that as an, uh, but I think there's probably going to be not much changed with that. I just feel there's going to be matchmaking. I just, I just have a feeling calling it right here. I called the date of the release of Halo 3 on PC, so I, I just got my gut. I'm feeling my gut on this one. So let me know in the comments section down below, would you guys be excited for matchmaking for ODSC Firefight? I know I certainly would be, because a lot of people still hold that Firefight to be the best in the franchise, which is funny that that's the first one to come into the game. Reach did expand on it a lot, but it made it much more, I think, of an arcade kind of high score game, where I feel like ODST Firefight is much more just like wave survival. If you make it to the end, you actually really accomplished something. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below where you're excited about this uh, updates when it comes to the MCC. If you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date. Check out the videos on the screen right over here. If you missed any content from me recently, I got a link to all my news and informational videos. If you've been out the Loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.